That would suggest to me he's not going to pit at the end of the stage. Sunoco fuel only for Joey Logano. He gets Sunoco fuel and returns to the racetrack. Here comes Denny Hamlin now. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse. Here comes William Byron. Let's cover that stop. William Byron slides into his pit stall. Right side tires are actually no tires. They actually pulled out a little bit of the wheel well on the right front. They thought maybe that was going to be a problem. So they pulled it back in Sunoco Fuel. Winston Kelly. Fuel only for Denny Hamlin. Lap number 74. Quick chassis adjustment. So Kevin Harvick, the only one using the inside line, will go to the lead. Three wide looking for second. Truex to the inside of Bowman and Harvick. Matter of fact, they're three wide of that three rows deep. Harvick now around the outside to grab second. And he's going to get away from that hornet's nest from third on back. That's where Martin Trex Jr., Alex Bowman. Here's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. going four wide headed to turn one. Four wide, and they were thinking for a minute about five. They are still four wide with Kurt Busch all the way to the outside. Joey Logano gets up into the William Byron machine. They part peaceably as they exit turn two. Closer to the front, here's Alex Bowman and Martin Truex Jr. racing for third. Bowman will complete the pass. Now it's Jimmy Johnson around the outside with a tire rub on his Chevy Camaro. Side by side for fourth now. Jimmy Johnson will take it. Truex will give it up. Man on the move right behind Martin. Here comes Eric Almarola. Almarola to the outside will try and take over the number five spot. Meanwhile, battle for the lead beginning to shape up. Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvick, and now here comes Alex Bowman. It is Larson, Harvick, Bowman, and Johnson, the front four that are stepping away from a battle at the end of the battle. Straight away, Legato now to the apron. Kyle Bush ran him all the way downstairs, and Kyle Bush has a tire going down. He is struggling to regain control of his car. Now he'll do so, and he's headed to pit road. Kyle Bush with a masterful job of not wrecking Legato or anyone else. His misfortune continues after getting back on the lead lap. He makes his way to pit road in front of Pete Pistoni. And Kyle Bush on pit road again. He has been down here so many times again now with the damage on the left side of the car. They're taking a look there. They're going to change both those tires, fill it up with Sunoco fuel, and down and away goes Kyle Busch, who had battled his way back into the top 10. He's going to have an uphill battle the rest of the way here again this afternoon. And meanwhile, we got a battle for the lead. Here comes more lap traffic on the inside line. Larson not giving an inch, and neither is Bowman. Larson dives it deep into turn number three. New leader, Kyle Larson in turn four. Last night, as a matter of fact, it was early this morning, 1.40 a.m. Central Time. Kyle Larson won just behind the main grandstands in a USAC race. Here's Larson now trying to hang on in turn one. Don't take the hatch to victory lane yet, though. Larson is still under the gun. Bowman sideways as he rim rides to the top. He's right on the back bumper of Larson off, too. Now he'll lose a car length midway down the back straightaway. He'll try to regain that, trying to pull up in the slipstream of Larson. Bowman goes to the top of the racetrack and Larson takes that McDonald's Chevrolet to the bottom. Here they come off turn number four, six to go at the line, separation two car lengths. Kyle Larson will take his Chevrolet below the white line to the apron and back to turn number one as the race leader. And now it's Larson who's have, gonna have to be perfect in the lap traffic. Here comes Bowman, he's on the comeback trail. He moves to the inside, they nearly bump off turn two, they do bump on the back straightaway. They make contact midway down the back straightaway, racing for the lead. Bowman to the inside of Larson at the entrance of the corner. Bowman reclaims the lead with Larson in the outside lane. Physical racing here in the closing laps at Chicago Land Speedway. Alex Bowman back to the top of the leaderboard. Landon Castle's lap car gets out of the way and lets the leaders continue to fight. The gloves are off. The money is on the line. It's Alex Bowman now by two car lengths over Kyle Larson. Both of them top of the racetrack as they exit turn two and race to the back stretch. Now Bowman begins to leg it out. Two car lengths, maybe now three car lengths as Bowman will return to the bottom of the racetrack. Larson takes his classic line of the outside you got to believe the message delivered to Alex Bowman was if you want it go get it and I believe that's what he's doing right now Bowman beginning to drive away from Kyle Larson Larson ran him down Larson passed him in lap traffic but Alex Bowman not to be denied he is back to the point and now trying to pull away it's up to five car lengths as they head for three and Alex Bowman is continuing to pull away three car lengths the advantage between Alex Bowman and Kyle Larson, this ongoing battle for the win.
Off turn number four to the start finish line. 264 laps on the board. Three laps to go. Alex Bowman's lead now up to a half second. It's not over yet though. More lap traffic dead ahead. Bowman takes it all the way to the safer barrier. The Chris Busher machine will be next in line as they race off two for car lengths. The advantage now. If Kyle Larson is backing up to regroup, it's time to drop the hammer again. He is almost out of time as Alex Bowman and, uh, and Kyle Larson continues the battle for the lead. It's stabilized at about five car lengths. With two to go at the line, Bowman now working around one more lap car. They head back to turn number one. Bowman all the way to the top of the racetrack. He'll go to the outside on the Chris Busher machine. Busher's showing pretty good pace, but he pulls down to the bottom, gives the leader the respect. Alex Bowman to the outside. He'll bypass Busher heading for three. He will complete the pass off the end of the back straightaway. Now Larson must do the same. Bowman again, comfortable with the low line as Kyle Larson doing everything he can up against the wall. Exiting turn number four, the race leader, Alex Bowman to the line. White flag in the air. One and a half miles remain to his first ever NASCAR victory at the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series level. Here comes Alex Bowman, spent two or three years as the official simulator driver of Hendrick Motorsports, just waiting for his chance. He may cash it in today. He's got the lead by four. Here he comes off the end of the backstretch for the final time. Alex Bowman to the bottom of the racetrack. Off turn number four, looking for his first ever checkered flag. Career win at number one comes on a Sunday night at the Chicagoland Speedway. Across the line, and Alex Bowman.